Hi, this is Janos, it's Real World Audio and another build note for the uh, Lagrande loudspeaker, uh, which looks really big now as I am <laughs> kneeling in front of it. So why did I put uh, screws in the front? Uh, do you need to use screws? Because they, they, be, they are becoming quite expensive. These are brass screws. If you build it, be absolutely 100% sure that you are using brass and you are not using uh, metallic screws. Uh, it, it makes a very noticeable difference in tonality. And when you uh, have uh, like uh, mid-range issues or it sounds harsh or metallic or fatiguing, then those uh, metal screws are very much uh, the big portion of making uh, are, that are responsible for that uh, bad sound. So actually right now for me, uh, I have to admit that these top three screws and those screws there those are regular screws. I did not have brass screws of su sufficient length because these are just uh, one inch long brass screws that are holding the front. So half inch panel and then half an inch goes in. But this I put in a longer one because this is a 1.2 millimeter thick front panel, but the top is 20 millimeters thick. So half an inch versus three quarters of an inch. So for three quarters of an inch, a one inch long screw is not enough. So I put in 1.5 inch long screw. So as a general practice, what I do is that I use a screw that's double the length of the panel that I'm fastening. So equal distance of the screw in, in one, one side and equal distance holding it to the other side. And an equal distance from Machi. <laughs> Ah, look at her, belly rub, the obligatory belly rub. Look, she, she is a very long cat. She is a big kitten. Okay, so coming back to the screws. So right now, uh, temporarily, these guys uh, are, you see, there's a difference in the color of them. So these few screws are uh, non-brass. So, so I'm getting a little... Uh, addition from those. I have already ordered those screws. I'm not going to get them from uh, City Mail because they are like two dollars each for each screw and I'm not getting 24 screws for you know price of gold. Uh, anyway, so one thing why you would use screws to put it together is because if you screw it then you can uh, take it apart, do, do changes, do things and uh, you can go like a cheaper way, you can glue it instead of screwing it. But when you glue it, uh, there is actually still a very big difference uh, between uh, how well the gluing happens. So you use wood glue for it to glue and you need to clamp the, the parts together. So basically then, instead of get, help, spending like $20 on, on the screws, you need to spend maybe hundreds of dollars for getting those giant clamps to be able to clamp together the, the front baffle to the sides or to clamp the panels together. And, and why is that? Because uh, when you use wood glue to glue wood panels together, uh, the, the quality of, of the glue depends on the pressure applied when it's being glued together and you need to apply as much pressure as possible. And uh, of course you can do it with minimal pressure so you can just lay the thing down like belly up and then put in put a weight on it uh, that will work to a degree it won't be as nice and it will be a very weak joint. Uh, you need to put like uh, hundreds of kilograms of pressure on it to, to, to really get it done well. So for example uh, when they make these plywoods, this is by the same principle, it's layers of wood, that, that's what plywood is, and one layer, the grain is going this way, the next layer, the grain is going that way, this way, that way. So basically the plywood is, is uh, layers, fine layers of wood with altered grain orientation running, and they are glued together at very high pressure, so they are putting 
tons of pressure to glue them together. And, and that's what you need for, for optimal results. And uh, it's just uh, very, very hard to do with minimal tooling. So if you want to save money on it, then uh, actually you just using glue, then, um, then you will need those mega expensive, huge giant clamps to clamp it together. And as we do not have those kind of things, then it's not an option. If you have a wood workshop, yes, go for it. But then you won't be able to change it. So this way, even at home, you can do a high quality uh, panel mounting and, um, and that's it. So thank you guys for watching this video. Please like, subscribe. If when you like a video, then it will prioritize my videos on the internet. So people will find my, these build videos easier. If you subscribe and hit the notification bar, then you yourself will find uh, my other videos easily, more easily. And when you support me with buy me a coffee, you can support me with as little as two dollars. Then your support goes to towards these little projects so I can, you know, buy the wood for the cabinets uh, and, uh, and, you know, just, uh, just uh, a little support, give and take, that kind of thing, and keeping things in balance. So have a wonderful day. Now I'm stopping and uh, going to work. Have an amazing day. And if you are going to work, cheers, I feel for you. Bye-bye.